So you want to do a speed test on this? What's up? How you doing, man? What do you got there? A paddleboard with a drive? <laughs> Jeff, what's up? What do you got? Okay. We film a whole video. You may get only one camera angle because the, the GoPro decided not to record. But we were doing a speed race. You were on this one. I was on that one. Yep. Now let's flip it around. Let's see. Maybe it's a weight thing. Maybe you weigh 300 pounds. I weigh 225 pounds. Wow. You weigh more than me. Maybe this, is, this one will be faster now. Longer boats are more efficient. Boats that has the, have the weight forward are more efficient and then lighter weight boats are more efficient and that one is 14 feet long and There's three 14 little, yeah 14 yeah. 36 yep. and it's inflatable so it's above the water there's basically no drag and this is a kayak yeah all right let's just so, well, we'll, give, give me we're gonna we're gonna do two perspectives and uh i'm gonna steal this camera go ahead take you it you already have that i already one. got this and, one here. Um, and, and they're tired tired much, looking at my face yeah we're gonna see in the rear view <laughs> Can oh no, try? oh no. Why? What if I paddle and torquito at the same time? You can try. Oh man. So we're making it to the green buoys and not any further. Where's the green buoy? Okay, do we go over the green buoys? Past them. That's where everyone's past them. Alright, so so let's stop right before it. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Set, go. Uh-oh. Oh my god, look at look at the bow. Woo! It's cool! Guys, we're going 6.3 miles an hour. You going 6.5? I'm doing 6.7. 6, 6.7? 6, oh! I know why now. Whoa! Alright guys, look. Let's try this. Six five, seven. Hey Jeff! I would have caught up with you, man, if I paddle. I, I hate seven paddling. So this boat, it's a little over 14 feet long. It's, uh, it's got a lot of the boat behind me. It's fully tracked. We got track running the whole length of it. So you can put rod holders, paddle holders, tool retractors, foot control steering, depth finders I got my transducer mount back there I got the seat attached to it the torpedo throttle is attached to it everything is on track here and guess what you have that thing uh, fitted for you that's yeah. why you're going faster than me because yeah. you weigh more than me well this the Sholi is really set up you know, for, for river fishing, for white water. And that has great secondary stability. Yeah, but I mean, like when I was on that boat, I hit 6.5, you hit 6.7. Right. So it's because you weigh more, so the boat is where you Ah, I get what you're saying. I understand it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little trial of this. Chase me. Okay, I'll chase you. I'm gonna right. do some donuts first, cause you know, everyone loves donuts. Okay guys, we are on the Sholi. This boat is getting a lot of fanfare because it was designed by a kayak angler and uh, he is really famous and he loves this little boat. And we got a Torquedo 1103 on the back. Look, look at Jeff trying to like do fun stuff over there. All right, so let's go ahead and test it. All right. We go in a circle. Me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice! Well, guys, uh, through all those turning, we were going like five miles an hour. Now it's 6.2. We cannot get to the green buoy. We cannot pass by it because they're they're fishing over there. Wow, this, this Sholi like this, epic stuff, man. Look at this. Let's turn right here. Come get this. You can bump into me. Oh, really? Hurt me. Really? Set. Oh, God. Boom! 
No problem. No problem. Hey, um, when you do lean, it turns uh, sharper. Yes. Do you, do you understand what that concept is? Maybe you can you can film me explaining it. Go ahead. So, Alex was was noticing astutely that the more you lean the sholey, the easier it turns, right? And what you're doing is it's called edging a kayak, right? So normally the kayak's like this, and you lean it like this. But when it's it's flat like this, the length of wetted surface is like this. But when you lean it on its edge, which is curved, it's it goes from a length of wetted surface like this to like this. So in essence, by leaning it, you're creating a shorter boat, so it turns easier. And it's edging a kayak, and the Crescent Kayaks Sholey edges very nicely. That's part of what makes it a really great river kayak. And it's gonna stop you, that secondary stability is gonna stop you before you flip over, right? You gotta learn that. And I think yeah, you yeah, you got that concept more than anyone because you flip everything. <laughs> but I never felt like I was gonna flip over. I will tell you and where the point of no return on this where is it? What is it? Is, is, it is, is this rail right here. Even I, though this is lower here, water will start coming it in. It'll it'll come right to that edge, and you can save it from there. From once, there, once it jumps over, you're going, and and it's really not a difficult boat to reboard. Yeah, even with all the stuff that you have on it. You know, if you're having trouble with all this stuff, that's why it's on a track and you have these knobs and you can pull it off and move it out of the way. But yeah, even with all the stuff on there, if you have big things like a depth finder or an anchor wizard or, or things that are even harder rocks. to get, get your, your life jacket over, that's a problem. Yeah. So be able to, to remove that stuff if you need to, to reboard. You can also go off the front. You can basically straddle the front of the boat and work your way whatever works but the key is you have to practice you have to flip kayaks and practice it yeah. he does it to get youtube views you no, should to save your bro, life bro i got in a lot of comments you saved my life for real yeah because they saw the video because a lot of people think it's stupid but i'm trying to teach them something yeah right so yeah i had to make it fun too because nobody want to watch a video that is boring right right so about that let me go and finish my water demo all right <laughs> thanks man yep uh i'll take this home don't worry it's okay. fine <laughs> <laughs> oh it did it again always remove the kill switch when you're not operating your kayak because that's gonna happen all right, it's better to be safe than sorry. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and, and I want to paddle this surely because, all right, guys, I'm going to paddle it right now. It's going two miles an hour. All right, I want to see how cool this thing is. Wow, 2.7. It paddles nice. I mean, there is an extra weight on this boat because of the torpedo and all that stuff, but it still paddles nice. Let me just crank up the Turquito and go. Whew. So nice how the bow lift off. It's just cool, man. 